Hey guys, it is day five in my Christmas or like holiday season videos. If you guys have any video topics that you want to talk about during this month, um, leave them in the comments down below and it can be about anything. Today's topic, something a little more personal to me and it is about my OnlyFans and the person I'm going to talk about is probably, well, might watch this. There's a high chance they might watch this video. If that is the case and you're watching this video, I'm speaking to you. This is how I feel and that's what it is. I don't want you to take it the wrong way, but at the same time, the reason why I'm talking about this is because what you said rubbed me the wrong way. I know you mean well and you're a good person, but yeah, I don't even know what to say about that. I just, I'm just going to get into it. As I've told my channel before, I have dated the last year, but I have not been in a committed relationship all or actually two years, for two years now, I've dated and I've dated two people-ish. And as you know, I do OnlyFans and I have never been happier with what I'm doing. I've never been more inspired. I've never been so comfortable in my own skin, in my own being too, like mentally as well. I have never felt so secure in myself until now. It is thanks to OnlyFans. It is thanks to being single for the last two years. It's thanks to getting to know myself and I'm grateful for what I'm doing and I'm happy for what I'm doing and I have never made more money in my life and I am successful and excited and pursuing new adventures and trying new things and just basically this is the best 2020 has been the best year of my life unfortunately if not for everyone and it has also sucked as well but it has been financially and career wise and personal growth wise an amazing year for me. With that being said, I've had to weed out a few bad weeds. And I'm not saying that the person I'm specifically talking about is a bad weed, I think they're a good person. But the reason why I'm bringing this up is because this has been the third time now that someone has told me that doing OnlyFans is disgusting in their own way. They're not specifically saying that. No, no one has literally said that, actually one person has said that. One person has said that those words like that's disgusting um and then there's two others that said it in a different way and so i just wanted to talk about it because i want to bring a point up basically i was talking to some girl last like around this time around december and when i start that's when i started doing only fans and we had been seeing each other for like three or four months and then she told me that's disgusting she said that it was disgusting at that point i had only been posting like bikini pictures like apparently that's disgusting we weren't right we weren't a good fit um we found that out like a month later and i broke things off and that was fine and whatever i don't i literally could care less about that then a friend told me that they would never date someone that does that um and that was her own kind of way of saying she thought it was gross i think um we're still friends and i'm again i just don't really care and then the third time this happened <sighs> is the last person I was dating said in the beginning of our relationship or like of our dating said that they didn't know how they felt about that and I said you know what I'll give you time you can figure out how you feel and decide from there and I should have known from that moment that that was not my person because my person is would never even question what I'm doing. And then she came back around like a week later and was like, you know what, it doesn't matter to me. It's all like outside opinions that are what's, you know, making me th double think this. And I was like, okay, so it's outside opinions. You're thinking about what other people think of you and your relationship. So if that's all it is and you can move past what other people think then that's totally fine and we can continue on this journey we continued on the journey whatever things didn't work out besides that which well i thought recently she's come to me to tell me that she's you know a little bit heartbroken over it doesn't you know it was really sad and i was talking to her about it because I felt like that was the right thing to do, you know, like I said, dating somebody and not being able to communicate with them how you feel um, after of the breakup is, is really difficult and for me it's a lot easier to just talk about it. So I was trying to be that person. I said, well, how about you start thinking of some things that you realized just wouldn't have worked between us and start replaying those memories in your head. Like, you know what, this is not something that I want in my relationship going forward. Like. 
I was just thinking personality wise. And she brought up, you know what? Yeah, I thought about it. And going forward, I wouldn't date someone that does OnlyFans. So why is that? I didn't ask because I just don't even want to get into it anymore. I just want to move on with my life at this point. But the fact that over the few months that we were talking that she had that still in the back of her head thinking that she wouldn't date someone that does OnlyFans is literally saying that you think it's wrong, disgusting, or it's a lower standard to you. And that just rubs me the wrong freaking way. It almost feels like a lie. Like all that time I was just being lied to, saying that what I was doing was okay, but it was for, for what? I don't want you to think that I'm saying everybody has to date porn stars or people that do OnlyFans. I'm not telling you you have to date anyone you don't wanna date. But the fact that I feel like I was being lied to for so long and the fact that you're saying you wouldn't date someone going forward that does this, to me doesn't make sense. You went into this knowing who you were talking to and then you're saying that that's not good enough for you anymore. It could be one or, th or all of those things, that it's disgusting or, you know, or that it's beneath you, but you're saying that it's not good enough for you. And that rubs me the wrong way because everybody watches porn. You cannot tell me that you do have not watched porn. You do. And you're telling me that that person that you're watching, that you're getting pleasure off of, is not worthy of your love or worthy of your time because they're beneath you. That's what you're saying. Oh, it just rubs me so wrong. If I was of higher status, if I made more money, if I had jets and if I had cars and if I had, you're saying at my level, at my tier that you wouldn't. But if someone of that tier was doing the same thing as me, but because they're at a different status, a thousand percent visually, if they looked the way you liked, whatever that might be, you're telling me you're not gonna go on a date with that girl. And all those people that told me, oh, it's disgusting, it's disgusting, this and that. The fact that you think somebody is beneath you because of it, and you wouldn't date someone because of it, because of what they do for a job. I get it if you don't want to date someone that does porn, that has sex with other people, I understand that. But what I'm doing, see, I don't think anyone would be saying I was disgusting if I owned a big ass mansion and five cars and I don't think anyone would think twice about what I'm doing. They wouldn't give a fuck what I'm doing. It's the fact that, I'm, that I don't have that, that you're able to say that it's gross, even though you don't know how much how many zeros are in my account, which I'm in the top 2%. So I'm just trying to make a point here that it's all about status. You could be doing the same fucking shit and that same person is going to be totally fine with the other one because it's just, oh my God. All those people that have said that it's gross and that it's disgusting. First off, you don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. How are you gonna say it's gross? It's the same shit you're doing in bed with 20,000 people, except I'm doing it alone. You fucking watch porn. How are you gonna say it's disgusting when you watch people that are making that content for you? You're saying someone's beneath you by saying something's disgusting that they're doing for a job for work. Uh, okay, I'm done. I'm going on in circles at this point. I just wanted to make that point. So if it was somebody else, how are you gonna say you're not gonna date somebody that does a certain job that doesn't concern you? It doesn't concern you. I wasn't trying to drag anybody into it. I'm doing my own thing on my own. I've never had you take pictures of me. I do it all on my own. So how does it concern you? How does it affect you in your life is my question. Okay, so this is right after I was done filming. I just realized. I said, how does it affect you? And it affects you in the way that your friends and family might think less than of your partner as well. And the fact that you would allow that and think that the person that you care about is not worth teaching your friends and family that people aren't less than each other because of what they do for work. And again, not something I really like. 
I'm editing right now and I just thought of another thing that I didn't mention. If you are gonna comment and say, well, I just wouldn't want my person's body to be posted for everyone else, like it's sacred. Like, that is an insecurity that you have with you because it's not like she's giving her body to anybody. A picture? A picture? I saw this post or something about if you take a picture of a tree and you sell that picture, that tree has not been touched. That tree is not owned by the person that bought the picture or even took the picture. Nothing happens to that damn tree. It's a picture. Nothing is happening to that human. Your logic doesn't make sense to me. So Colton has great perspective on what we've been talking about today. What are your thoughts um, on the opposing sides? You've been taking the side of the opposer. I've been playing some devil's avocado. Yeah, he doesn't actually believe in either side. He probably has his own opinion formulated in the middle, but he's been playing devil's avocado and telling me what another person might think and view. From another person's perspective, when you're in a relationship some with somebody that their body is like their property, for lack of a better word. <laughs> no, but it, it might just be a little bit disrespectful for someone for your partner to be uh, posting pictures of their body for somebody else's pleasure. Mm -hmm. um, not that you might feel a sense of pleasure, which obviously you don't, or maybe. No. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just the idea that somebody else is getting pleasure out of your partner, which is for you, um, might be a little disrespectful from from that perspective. From that perspective. A debate to that is, you don't own me. You don't own me. And also, also, I feel like people can get pleasure in many different ways. And you could be watching a simple YouTube video of some random ass girl and still be jacking yourself off. Basically, um, I was saying that I think somebody would date a porn star or whoever if they had a bunch of money and they were attracted to them. Whereas if say that person didn't have as much money, but they were still attractive, they would say no to that person. I think that is um, like you're saying that that person's beneath you. You were saying that. Yes, I was saying that. Oh. That was a personal thought. And it doesn't, the person I was even talking about didn't say any of this. I just was going on a rant about other things. It's hard to say because I feel like, yeah, people, <sighs> People can date someone for their like status or money, you know, but it's hard to say if that really is the truth. And so, yeah, if you were like a higher paid OnlyFans person, mm -hmm. like would they... Would they think different? Even subconsciously, like they might not even realize. Mm -hmm. That's the thing with money and status. For some people, like you might just stay in something because of the, the money part. I mean, I do agree, but it's so, but you also don't, you don't know 100%. What about preference? Say someone says, it's my preference not to want to date someone based on that job. Like, it's my preference. It's not that I feel insecure about it. It's not that I feel this, this. It's at my preference. Gushing. And the way that you speak, like your tone mm -hmm. could come across very matter of fact. So even though you say, oh, this is my opinion, like the way you say something, you know, might come off differently though. I should say, this is all my opinion on this matter. Like, I'm just speaking my feelings and thoughts and I'm not saying I'm right. I'm not. I really don't think I'm right and I don't think you're right if you think the opposite. I just am speaking how I feel in my thoughts. Yeah, everyone's entitled to their own preference. I mean, I deal with this shit all the time. Preference, everybody does. But it's hard to say if, if someone's being genuine or not and you'll never ever know that. Mm -hmm. And I was gonna say, uh, based on society, I was telling you earlier, like, I think based on society, that's why people have this preference. I think it's based off of, like, because we are told and we grew up thinking your body is sacred and, like, when you're in a relationship, like, that's your partner and, like, it sh your body should not be shared. And I'm not saying, like, physically, but, like, the visual of a body is this sacred thing and I think that's a societal thing that we've been, that has been put on us. I personally... Think. Yeah, I mean, and that goes back since the fucking Bible. 
Yeah. Like the Bible says you'd be with one, one person basically, otherwise it's adultery. Yeah, it does go back since a long time ago where, you know, society does say that you are supposed to be with one person. And yes, that is right. So that's why it gets sticky when like you're sharing yourself with another person mm -hmm. because it can, because that's not, it's not right. Mm -hmm. It's not really that complicated. Like I feel like we're really, really digging into it, but <laughs> yeah, at the end of the day, it is really all opinion based and yeah. you're not right or wrong for what you, what you believe in. Mm -hmm. And so you just have to find somebody that fits your beliefs fits your belief and like and 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 i think it comes down to trust too mm -hmm. like you got to find a part a partner or you know they might not they may not agree with it but they trust you well thank you for your perspective colton i you think you have, will go. you have a great like balanced perspective and i think i come across a little bit aggressive with it i think you you really mellowed it out Thank you. You can be a little brash sometimes, but you know what? That's you need sometimes somebody like that, you know, yeah. to like just lay it on you. Boom! Bam! That's it. That's all I have to say. I'm just like irritated and fed up with people saying it's disgusting when they're watching porn. Like, get over yourself. Stop belittling people. Stop telling them that they're less than. Because they're not, they're more than, they're more zeros than, okay? So, I'm, I don't know what this video is even going to be titled. I am so sorry if this was not a happy, cheery video, um, and that's what you were expecting. I am sorry. I am in a very good mood, I truly am, and like I said, I've never been happier with myself, but, oh, la, la, la. let me know your thoughts in the comment section, and I'll see you in this video right here. 